Wesley. That oh. window just opened, and hopefully he just closed it. Cover. Wow. Yeah, this is your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoon's Delight. Wow, 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 guys. Let me tell you something. I don't know how many of you guys was able to watch Vengeance Day tonight, but <sighs> Vengeance Day just... No offense. Look, Royal Rumble had the war, the Roman Reigns segment. There was some good moments at the Rumble, but the Rumble could not stack up as an overall pay per view to Vengeance Day at all. Vengeance Day is the best pay per view I've seen since AEW Four Gear back in November. Not even close. Nothing, nothing comes close. Like Vengeance Day really put it out, and I really can't wait to see Stand and Deliver in April. NXT put on a show for those fans in Charlotte. It looked like a what we should be seeing from you know any other pay-per-views at the you know at the arenas during the year um wow what a show it makes you want to see more shows on the road for nxt i love the perform the performance center aura though because it gives it that like college vibe minor league vibe but um i definitely want to see some more events like at big arenas like this i think that this was fantastic Love that NXT got an um, actual interest stage because I know that's been a um, like a real problem for a lot of people with the WWE pay per views is that we don't get like the 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 different interest stages you know except for WrestleMania. But this match between Wes Lee and Dijak was hot. Um, the build for it was incredible going into the match. I love their little encounter on Tuesday this past week. And let me tell you guys something, Wes Lee, he's a star, star to make in. This dude is money. This is the guy right now that if you could push him enough uh, on the main roster, if you if you book this dude the right way, he's going to be one of your top five guys in the company that you're going to be able to push out there for the next 10, 15 years. Really, he is. He's that guy. Great on the promo. The crowd loves him. He has a lot of energy in his matches. This match with Dijak, and Dijak is... Bro, Dijak is a made villain. Like, this dude, I can see him being one of the top heels in the company. You know, to me, I like him more than uh, Gunther on the main roster. Like, uh, he to me, he's a, he's, he's a lot more interesting. His gimmick is interesting. Uh, he, could, he could go... Th this match was unbelievable. This is a match of the year candidate, in my opinion. To open up the show with this particular match for the North American Championship was just amazing, bro. That crowd was hot for this match. They were chanting Wesley. They were behind him. Um, it was great. Let, let me uh, go over the last part of the match and, uh, so I can wrap this up. But uh, So towards the end of the match, Lee countered a super bomb with a Frankensteiner. Lee hit Dijak with the final flash uh, spiral tap. Uh, Dijak kicked out of Lee's finisher at two. Dijak went for a suicide dive, but Dijak's all coming and shoves a flying Lee into the timekeeper barricade. This was the spot of the match that really probably changed the match. Dijak trapped Lee in an uh, office chair with a broom with a seatbelt. That was I never seen that before. I actually never seen that in wrestling before. Uh, Dijak hit a trap uh, Lee with a super kick. Awesome spot there. Dijak went for the top rope out of nowhere. It's Tony D'Angelo and Channing Stacks Lorenzo pushed Lee out of the way and ate Dijak's moonsault. This changed the match, bro. Taking the bullet for Lee. Lee caught Dijak with a kick. And backflip for the victory. So, Wesley. It seemed like this match went about 25 minutes long, but it only went 17. Um, God damn, what a match, bro. What a match, bro. Wow. If, like, for anybody who really didn't, really, like, has not followed Wesley or Dijak closely in NXT, and you watch this match tonight, you know who these guys are after this. Like, this was unfreaking believable. The type of match that they put together. Salute to those guys right there. Really salute to them, man. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless, bro, because of how good this match was. 
this was classic NXT. It had an ROH style to it with the false finishes. I mean, the false uh, counts or whatever. And bro, now we probably gonna have a Dijak D'Angelo feud coming. Uh, we'll see what's next for Wes Lee. Uh, this is gonna be interesting, man. This is this is this is gonna be interesting. I would like to see, you know, now that um, uh, Grayson Waller lost, I would like to see Grayson Waller and Wes Lee. That'd be a funny beef right there going into standard deliver. Maybe we could get Grayson Waller and um, Wes Lee uh, facing each other next, but I don't know where they're gonna go next with Wes Lee. But uh, this guy's a star to make it, man. Next year he needs to be on the next. Uh, when he get if they do a draft next year main roster material right now for Wesley, bro. He, this dude has passed all the tests. This dude's a star to make it, man. Let me know y'all thoughts, man. I'm gonna come back to wrap this up. Okay, you guys, make sure y'all go on ahead and hit the like button, comment, and share the video. Also, make sure you guys also donate to the channel by hitting the thanks button below, or you can hit up the Cash App, dollar sign, sack exchange, to send any donation to the Cash App. Here are the top donators, and you can fit yourself in this list at any time if you donate at least $2 or more. Thank you. Man, y'all got to give it to Wesley, man. Wesley, standing ovation, man. They set the tone for the night, too. Like, they, you know, because, you know, that Charlotte crowd, it looked like a sold-out crowd, too. Like, it looked lit in there, man. I was surprised. I was like, damn, man. NXT really got a good, heavy brand, Um, you know. And for me, you know, I want more people to watch NXT because I feel like people are missing out when they don't watch NXT, man. NXT is great, man. Um, but salute to Wesley. Salute to Dijak. This was a great way to open the show. Uh, really set the tone, like I said. And uh, it was a great pay-per-view overall, man, uh, or premium live event, whatever you want to call it. Thank you all for watching this video. After news, delight.